from, and it was a good outcome for all. Nikki Kay. Pleased to speak on the South Taranaki District Council Cold Creek Rural Water Supply Bill. Uh, I'm also pleased to say uh, that I will be in Whanganui on Monday with the Honourable Chester Burroughs and I look forward to being in that community because what was very clear when we heard these submissions were the passion from the people that had contributed to this scheme. And we're proud on this side of the House to say that we believe in community assets and we believe in empowering the community. And what I want to say with regard to this bill is it is very interesting. It is very interesting that we have a situation here where many uh, residents have contributed to this scheme and all they want to be able to do, as the Honourable Nick Smith mentioned, is to be able to control this scheme and potentially vest it in the ownership of the community. That's a really positive thing. And can I just say as well and point out to members that what this bill does, it sets in train a process. It sets in train a referendum for residents to potentially uh, get ownership of that scheme. That's a positive thing. We on the National Party support that. And I want to seek clarification, particularly from the Green Party on this issue, because I do understand and I do actually have a lot of respect. I might not agree with you, Jamie Sage, but I have a lot of respect with the work that she does. And I want to seek clarification on the issue of the fact that the Crown did have fund, um, some, provide some funding for this. Why would the Green Party have a position that if that funding is provided, that that should not lead to community asset ownership? Because I would ask the Green Party to then clarify all of the waste management schemes around the country. There are many other community assets that have some Crown funding. And to state a position that says that by somehow, as a result of that, there shouldn't be community ownership, I think, is a sad day for New Zealand. But I do welcome clarification on that particular point. I want to make two other uh, minor points. The first is that there has been some very good improvements to this bill, partly as a result of looking at who can be involved in that referendum. Also, the issue of ensuring that there is um, uh, uh, better iwi engagement in terms of the process. I want to acknowledge um, the, the Chair of Local Government and Environment Select Committee, Nikki Wagner. I want to acknowledge all other members of the Select Committee as well for their hard work on this particular issue. I'm very pleased to support this important bill that is about empowering communities and ensuring that this asset, uh, there is a process and train to enable the people who have contributed this to asset to actually have ownership of that asset. That's a good thing. We support it. Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure.